With anxiety, stress, and sleep dysfunction skyrocketing across the globe, it's really important to understand how to digest the environment around us. When we perceive anxiety or get into a fight or flight state of mind, our energy is kept in thought. We breathe air in our lungs and it symptomatically feels like shortness of breath. To override this autonomic nervous system phenomena, we must breathe deep into our pelvic diaphragm. Now, you may feel restrictions in your jaw, your throat, your diaphragm, or even your low back. It's important to understand these restrictions so we can work on opening an airway. Your first conscious breath is when you wake up in bed. So let's start there. Here are a couple exercises that we can do before getting out of bed. First, we're going to be lying face down with your hands over your forehead. You're gonna use this pillow or a soft ball and put it under your abdomen. The purpose of the pillow or the soft ball is to give you some feedback over your abdomen. Now we're going to breathe deep into this pillow and have it give us some feedback. As you breathe, try to breathe out of your abdomen. Try not to breathe out of your chest. Now we're gonna go face up. We're going to put our hand over our chest and one over abdomen. What we're going to do is we're gonna breathe into our hand that's over our abdomen. What we don't want is for our hand over our chest to rise at all. We're gonna breathe over our abdomen, breathe out of our flanks and our lower back. Imagine a balloon inside your abdomen just slowly getting bigger and smaller. Deplete all the air in your stomach and completely inflate your balloon. Imagine breathing out of a straw. You're not gonna let all the air out at once. It's gonna be a slow, controlled movement. Another cue is to remember to try to keep your ribs down as far as possible while you're breathing in. Imagine all the life-giving oxygen to permeate all the cells of your body. Imagine that life-giving oxygen feeding all your muscles in your body. There's a lot of muscles in our neck, our chest, and our upper back that aid us in respiration, but sometimes they're hyperactive. What I like to do is get lacrosse balls or tennis balls and put them across our traps or along our transverse processes, which are along the side of the spine. I'm gonna, you can put them above your traps and breathe into the lacrosse ball or the tennis ball. Really think about lengthening those muscles and relaxing them. This is a great way to release trigger points in those areas as well. Tennis balls, lacrosse balls, or trigger point balls, which are specifically made to release tension in the fascia, are great tools to lengthen muscle. Next, we're going to take our fingers and put it in our obliques. Now, push back into your fingers with your core. It might help to go to feel those muscles engage. This is called abdominal bracing. This is an important muscle to activate so that when we're doing any movements, we're building rigidity around our spine. It's important to build strength in this area, but more importantly, endurance, because that's what's gonna protect our spine. Abdominal bracing is such an important activation because it allows us to protect our core. And it's important because it's involved in almost every action of our day. Breathing deeply is such an important aspect of our lives that we may not even think about. Let's digest the environment around us by breathing deeply.